Hi there folks, uh, so back for another video. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different, it's going back to the sort of older format that I had for some of my hobby chats and that kind of thing, but I basically wanted to show off sort of what I've been working on recently at the moment. Uh, there's been a whole bunch of different things that I've been tinkering with, um, as you can see mostly it's Middle Earth based, uh, but I thought I'd just go through it. So uh, some of my stuff that is kind of like I've been working on at the moment is actually finishing off uh, some Rohan stuff. Um, so I had to fix um, Mary's sword, unfortunately, because it had snapped off. But I managed to get the end of another sword from Port AMA, but it's a model that I already own, so I just snipped off the sword off the other one, uh, and I've got him ready to paint, so he's going to be on the painting table pretty soon. Uh, talking of more Rohan stuff, I've actually also been kind of working my way through sort of painting horses and stuff. So one of the interesting things that I've found is that, like, I really don't like painting horses. Um, but one of the nice things um, about the new contrast range and stuff is that I think it produces some really nice um, looks for the horses. And it means that you can paint them kind of quickly. Um, so what I'm planning to do is... Uh, we'll take this guy off. So I'm planning to paint all the horses in these kind of base contrast colours, as you see here. Just sort of one coat of those. And then go over it with a dry brush of a similar colour, just to break up the pooling and that kind of stuff. And give it a little bit more texture rather than it feeling so flat. Uh, but the hope is that that will mean that I'll have some very nice cavalry options all built up and finished uh, so I'm kind of trying to aim for, aim for like the 400 point mark at the moment uh, and that involves uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8-ish eight Riders of Rohan to go alongside Eowyn you can see here this is the old metal model I do actually kind of try and want to pick up the new plastic one but it's pretty cool um, and so I've been testing a whole bunch of different uh, contrast paints. I've done a grey one, which I think was quite nice. That was quite cool. And then there's also this white one as well. So that's just apothecary white. And again, I think that's really nice. And hopefully it'll be one of those things where once the dry brush goes over the top and I finish off the rest of the horse, they'll be fan dabby dozy really. Uh, and I'll have some quick and easy uh, cavalry done. Obviously paint the riders separately. Uh, they're all separate from their mounts at the moment. Uh, for the most part. I can't get that guy up now, unfortunately, but there we go. So yeah, just been working on those and sort of building up the collection of Rohirrim that I can play a proper game with them later on down the line. Uh, I also have been thinking about how I want to approach my sort of opposing army. Um, oh, I had originally thought about doing uh, orcs and stuff, but it occurred to me that if I was going to be um, putting together an alternative force to go up against these guys, it would make sense if it was uh, sort of like some Urukai and stuff. So I've been... Oh, the focus is really weird there. How odd. There we go. So yeah, I've been working on some Urukai that are have been sort of on the back burner for a while. These are some of the older models that I had, but I've been um, sort of tinkering around with uh new versions of the paint scheme and playing around with this paint so bugman's glow which i think is quite nice for the urukai flesh i mean i know normally it's a little bit darker but i think the lighter look actually works quite nicely and actually painting the urukai is fairly simple that's how it looks over just a back a black base coat um and i think it works quite nicely i think it'll look good once it's been washed and then updated. That's just a, a random berserker that I was working on. But uh, leading this 400 point warband of Urukai, I'm going to have these two. So I'm going to have good old Lurts leading the way. And some Ugluk stuff. I think he's Ugluk. He's Ugluk. I can't remember his name. But either way, uh, I have already painted these once, but I stripped them down and I'm going to be repainting them uh, just to bring them to life again. And uh, yeah really like working on these. I just need to find the time to kind of dedicate to finishing them off and bringing them up to the level of these uh, these plastics. The thing that's really annoys me about these is the swords. I really don't like the uh, I really don't like the swords on these. They always tend to like snip off when you're painting them, which is a real pain in the ass because the connection point 
is really bad on the hands, but there we go. I shall work something out for those, I'm sure, in the future. Um, beyond that, uh, a bunch of other stuff as well. So what have I been working on? Ah, so yes. Um, also got very much inspired recently by elves. Um, and so been working on some of the old plastic elves, as you can see here. They're all undercoated with wraith bone and they're ready to go. This one is in the, I think that one's been, that was base coated and then washed with null oil and has come together really nicely, I think. Um, but the final steps are kind of with the ones you see here where I've done all the highlighting and stuff on them. I haven't done the cloak on this guy, but I'll be finishing that off fairly soon. And then they end up looking like this. So these are my Rivendell elves that I've been working on. Come on, camera. Focus, God damn you. There we go. I don't think it really likes the fact that uh, there's other stuff happening. So, but yeah, so that's how the Rivendell elves have come out. And I think it looks really nice, actually. Uh, it's a little, it looks, it's a lot like the original scheme for them, but a little bit brighter on the cloak. And then I've got the green in there as well. But that's done to try and mirror the look of um, the Elrond model that I've been that I've worked on as well. So, so yeah, I really thought they came out really nicely, and I really liked working on them as well. They're very basic sculpts, but I I really like them. Um, talking of the last alliance period and that kind of thing, I've also got a couple of additional miniatures to work on. These are just the bare metals at the moment; they need cleaning up and then and then undercoating. But I've got a sildur, the old metal of sildur. And also a Lendil here. The unfortunate thing is that a Lendil sword has broken, um, so I can't really do anything with Nazil, really. But what I've decided to do is just try and like mess up the end of the sword blade, as you can see, uh, and try and do it as kind of like his shattered blade uh, that he has just before he dies, almost kind of thing. Um, we'll see how it looks when... Uh, it's all finished and painted up, but that's really unfortunate. But I really wanted to finish these off, so I'm going to be working on Elendil and Isildur fairly soon. Um, some other bits and pieces. So yes, uh, also working away in the background on a couple of named characters. So I've got Theoden on foot there. Uh, again, I don't have a mounted version. of Well, I do actually have a mounted version of him, but I haven't painted that up. But I just wanted to try something a little bit different with good old Theoden. Um, and paint him up, uh, just because, really. I'm not going to use him in my little warband, but uh, yeah. And then I also got Denethor here as well. Um, mainly because I wanted to just play play around with different characters and paint them up and just have fun, really. Uh, but yeah, so that's where I am at the moment with my hobby and what I've been getting up to. Um, ooh, I didn't show this off. So another miniature that I have also been working on is the King of the Dead. So I got myself some... Is that it? Where's it gone? There it is. Oh. I got myself some Hexroth Flame, which is like standard ghost tint <laughs> for miniatures, for the, the undead. And I'm going to be working on this King of the Dead for a little painting competition. Uh, he's just the old metal model stuck to the base, but I put on a whole bunch of skulls that I raided from a uh, bits box, some old vampire counts and some old mantic skeletons. Uh, and I'm going to try and do it as if he's drifting through um, the, uh, the the areas of Dunharrow, where he's met by Aragorn and the rest of the, uh, well, Legolas and Gimli and all that kind of stuff in the films. Um, so yeah, going to be working on all that. Uh, it should be fairly easy to finish this off. Uh, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different with the cloak and stuff, though. I'm going to try and do that kind of faded, washed out red and blue that you see in the movie and in some of the updated versions of The King of the Dead. And that new plastic model. Um, just to try and give a little bit of extra character and that kind of stuff as well, which I think is really nice. Um, so yeah, going to be trying to work on uh, this and um, bring it to life uh, for the kind of Halloween period, which I think would be quite nice. So yeah, um, working on a whole bunch of different things for the Lord of the Rings at the moment. Um, just a lot of stuff on the table. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get a bunch of the Orakai done, the King of the Dead, and maybe Merry um, by sort of next week, probably. We'll see how it all turns out. Um, but yeah, uh, lots of Lord of the Rings stuff to be going on with. Um, as always, as I have been saying uh, in the uh, community tab, uh, closing in on 1,000 subscribers now. 
Uh, and if you comment on the post in the community tab uh, and you're a subscriber, you'll be able to win yourself a couple of metal miniatures. There's a metal old metal Sauron, not Sauron, old metal Saruman and an old metal um, Grima. Um, so if you want that pair, make sure to be subscribed, share the video and comment on that post as well. Um, just as a little thank you for everyone getting me to 1,000 subscribers. Um, beyond that, uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe the videos uh, and uh, share them around with your friends and see what they think of them. Um, I would I would love to have more people involved if they're part of like the Lord of the Rings community and that kind of thing, just sort of sharing their thoughts on the game and where it is at the moment. Um, I have been very tempted by that Battle of Osgiliath box, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to hold strong. I, I do maybe want to pick up that uh, Isengard box, though, to go with my Urukai, because I think that would be quite nice, but yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of interesting Middle Earth hobby going on at the moment. I think next week I'm going to probably take another look at um, Oathmark, I think. Uh, just delve a little bit more into the books and share my thoughts on those. Um, apart from that, though, I'd love to know what you are working on in the comments down below. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us what you're painting. Uh, uh, dropping um, Urukai all over the place. Uh, do you have any tips for painting Urukai or Rohan and, that, and horses in general? That would be really cool. And uh, yeah, I shall see you again for another video very, very soon. Uh, I hope everyone has a good weekend and dives into some fun hobby. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of an old school one this week. And I'll uh, see you again next week for another video. Bye.